Hi, Minnie. Um, Hi there. Great episode. I, I Thank really you. loved it. Um, were you familiar with the series before you were asked to do the role? I was, yeah. I was, um, I've always loved the column in the New York Times and I'd actually recorded uh, for the podcast before I'd voiced one of the stories. So yeah, I knew it pretty intimately. So the episode that you star in is really emotional. What was it about the script when you first read it that really touched you? I think that there's a, a huge spectrum of emotion involved in in the episode, which is what I loved, of the way in which one hides one's grief, of how we explore it, how it is such singular secret behavior and it's hard to share that pain and loss, particularly when the outside of your life has moved on. Um, how grief in a way calcifies and, and stays inside you, but how grief also has to evolve. And I loved how painful and difficult that was, but ultimately how sweet and tender um, it was too. And it, that was such an interesting thing to explore, particularly for someone, you know, who's a doctor, who's a very practical together person to, to go into that very organized world and see where it was, where it, where it was, sad and beautiful and lonely um, and grief stricken. You've played so many characters with uh, so many different accents and done them so perfectly. How difficult is an Irish accent? Because most people, if they're just doing it for fun, you know, they end up sounding like a leprechaun, but you did it amazingly. How difficult is um, it? And what's the most difficult accent to do? Um, well, I think all accents are difficult to do well, um, but I, they're like music. They're, they're very like music for me. Like I learn them like a song and I, they kind of, I, they, they inhabit the same part of my brain as when I write music or play music. Um, but like anything, you have to practice them to make them good. And I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy there's a mimicry of the sound and then really understanding cadence on top of that. Um, it's almost like learning a language. I, I love it. The accents are, I find a standard American accent pretty hard, actually. That's the one I find the most difficult because it's far more nasal. The minute you start doing an American, you, your, your voice goes here and you actually have to keep remembering to kind of, it's, it's much, it's much, I find that very difficult, actually. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, tell yeah. me about the car, because I know car fanatics will be drooling over that when they see this episode. Uh, yeah those are stags are beautiful person? I am a car person yeah that stag is a, a thing of beauty mm -hmm. and you know like a lot of every single every single car is idiosyncratic but particularly those old cars um has a very sticky gearbox um really likes it's really comfortable going fast does not like to be in first and second but um drove like a dream I mean I loved I love I love driving stick as well like I much prefer to drive stick shift than automatic um if you're really gonna if you're really gonna go for a drive and not just cruise around between appointments I'd rather drive a car with a stick shift and finally can I ask what's next for you uh, have you finished work on Cinderella yep yep Cinderella's coming out in September um I'm doing um, a podcast for iHeart called Mini Questions, which is, I ask the same seven questions to a variety of extraordinary people from Tony Blair to Nick Jonas. Um, and I'm starting work on a movie in Prague in September. That all sounds amazing. I, yeah. I, where, where can we hear that podcast? You can hear it wherever you listen to your podcasts on the iHeartRadio app, but on Apple, Spotify, wherever, wherever you listen. Okay. I'll be watching for that or listening for it, actually. Great. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Fantastic series. Enjoyed it. Thank very you so much. much. Thank you.